Hi, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can create Michael Scott's mug. Let's jump right in. Press Shift A, Mash and add a circle and change the vertices to 20. Press Tab to go into edit mode and then F to fill. And then we can press E and we'll extrude it up. And then we'll press one numpad one to go into front view and then press G and set that we can kind of make our desired shape. Press Ctrl R to add a loop cut. Right click to confirm. Press Ctrl B and bevel it. Now press 2 to be in edge select. Hold Alt and Shift and select these two loops. And then press Ctrl B and bevel those again. And then maybe press S and Z and we'll just scale them down a tiny bit. Um, now go into front view. Um, press Tab to leave edit mode. And then press R, Z, 9 to rotate it a tiny bit on the z-axis and then we can go into edit mode and then we'll go into face select by pressing 3 hold shift and click on these two faces press x and f to cut them select the top face press x and f to remove that face as well press 2 to go into x select press alt click to select this loop and then hold shift and alt and select that loop as well and press e and y to extrude it now press this edge, hold shift, select that edge, right click, and we'll click bridge edge loops. And then here we can increase the number of cuts to maybe five, and then our path will be blend surface. And now we'll select this edge and shift click this edge. Now we'll press shift R to repeat our last action. Now we can select this edge right here, and now with F we can fill it and do the same on the other side just like that now we can go and add a solidify modifier so go to your modifiers tab and add solidify and then we'll change the thickness to maybe point, point 0.1 could be good um i'm gonna go and select our object and press ctrl 3 to add a subdivision modifier um increase the render subdivision to 3 as well and then now here we can go and apply our solidify modifier and now we'll add some loop cuts so here in the top we can add a loop cut and then here in the inside you can add a loop cut with ctrl r and then select face select select the bottom face and press i to inset and then just inset it a few times a right click shade auto smooth um, we'll go into right view by pressing numpad 3 and I will change the look of our handle a tiny bit. Uh, go into edit mode, press set and toggle x-ray. Press 1 to go into vert select. And now we can kind of move these around just a bit. So the handle looks a bit better. If you were already satisfied with the look of the handle, then you can just let it be. I'm going to add another loop cut right here. And then another loop cut here on the outside as well. And then now if I look, there's still some changes to be done. So I'll just make it a tiny bit smaller here. And move this down a tiny bit. There, and I think that looks nice. Maybe, just maybe move this up a tiny bit. Make it a bit more rounded. There we go. So now I can go into front view. I'll press R, Z, uh, maybe 120 to rotate it. And then we'll start adding the text. Um, you can add any text you want here. Um, we'll just press Shift A and we'll add text. Um, I'm doing Michael Scott's mug, which says um, world's best boss. So I'll press Tab to go into edit mode and then I'll type world's best boss. And now I'll go here into my data settings for my text. I'll press tab to leave edit mode. Um, in paragraph alignment, we want to center align it just like that. Um, here you can also change the font. And um, just for the sake of the tutorial, I'll leave it as the default font. But if you click here on your folder, you can pick any font you want and change it. Um, now I'll press R X 90 to rotate it. I'll press number one to go into front view. And now we'll go into object, convert, 
we'll convert it into a mesh i'll press g and z we'll move it up and then i'm gonna go into edit mode press a select all and then s and i'll scale it down and i'll toggle my x-ray so i can see the size of it and then something like this i press g and x and then kind of make it fit there we go now I'll press g and y and then i'll move it in front of my cup i'll toggle x-ray again and now i can see it even better and i think this sizing is pretty good or maybe even like size it up like that now we'll go into a motivator modifiers and then we'll add a decimate modifier go to planner and then just apply it and then now in front view we'll add a modifier and we'll, we'll add a shrink wrap modifier and the target will be our cup and then it will be a project right there and then we'll add negative right there to it and there we go now we can go ahead and add a solidify modifier and then we can make it solidify just so it pops out of our cup there we go that is perfect all right now I'll go into front view and i'll select both my objects and then i'll press r to rotate it and i press r twice and we can kind of Rotate it a tiny bit like this. And then I'll move it a bit more to the middle. I'll press Shift A and L. Start adding my camera. Press numpad zero to go into camera view. Press G and Z twice. And then maybe somewhere there. Now I can select my cup again. And then just move that a bit better into camera view. There. And now I can move my camera back just a bit more as well. Okay, now press Shift A, Mash, and add a plane. Press R, X, 90 to rotate it, G and Y, and we'll move it backwards. Press Tab to go into Edit Mode, A to select all, S, and then scale it up, and then S and X, and scale it up on the X axis just so it covers our background. Now I'll go add some shading, some materials. So we'll just go into our shading tab. Press Numb and zero to go into your camera view and then select the cup and we can just add a new material and then for that we will just change the roughness to 0.1 and that is all we do for that and then for the text we can just shift click our cup and then press ctrl l and m and now it will have the same material we can make here to make a copy out of it and then we can just change that to black and that's that then we'll add a background so we'll add a background material change our base color to b7c6e7 now we'll go back to our layout tab we'll press z and we'll go into rendered view press shift a light and add an area light press g and z to move it up and then we'll change our shape to disk size to three and then power to 150 press period and change your median pivot point to 3d cursor press shift d r x 60 and then r z 60 minus and then we can change the power to 100 and now we'll press shift d r z 120 and then press r and x twice and we'll kind of shine it from the side and then we'll change the power to 75 and then move it a bit further away now we'll add a light to our background so press shift a light and add an area light press rx 90 to rotate it press g and y move it towards our background change the shape the disc size to two and then power to maybe 350 and then we can see that is looking pretty sweet um maybe change the color to like a light blue there we go um we want to change the world color as well so we'll go into our world tab change the color to 78919b and then now we can play a tiny bit more with our lighting because you can set to move back a bit because they're a bit sharp but there that looks pretty great and i will just go into render settings we'll leave the engine at ev but we do want to change the look and not color management to a medium high contrast and there we go all we have to do now is render 
Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed creating your own mug. Are you looking to level up your Blender skills? Check out my other tutorials for more tips and tricks. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and drop your questions or ideas in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. When you share your masterpiece on Instagram, don't forget to tag me so I can see your amazing work. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. See you soon.